So today I just wanted to show you one of my favorite formulas that my old game dev mentor taught me many years ago. Anytime you need a number to go back and forth, just use a sine wave. So in this example, let's say we have a searchlight and we want the light to look like it's rotating back and forth, which means we want the Z rotation to slowly go from something like negative 90 to 90 and just keep looping between those two numbers. Now the equation that I like has four floats, the sin value itself, a frequency, amplitude, and an offset. So if we set sin value to zero, frequency to one, amplitude to 90, and offset to zero, and we plug that into the Z rotation, here's what that's gonna look like. See that? Now the Z value is going from 90 to negative 90, back and forth forever. And if we were to set frequency to something like 10 instead of one, now each cycle, it's going to go back and forth 10 times instead of once. So let's go ahead and set frequency back to one and change amplitude. It's set to 90 right now, but if we set it to 45, now you can see that instead of going to 90 and negative 90 degrees, it only goes to 45 and negative 45. So that's what that number does. And last we have offset. Now this one's a bit tricky to understand, so I'm gonna use a different example. Here we have a target, and I've plugged in my same formula, but instead of controlling rotation, now we're controlling its X position. So if we run the game, you will see that the target is moving back and forth between 500 and negative 500. Okay, so here's how you understand offset. Right now, we have set the X position to start at zero and then go to 500 and then negative 500. But if we set offset to something else, like 1500, now it's going to do that exact same motion, but instead of starting at zero, now it's going to start at 1500. So we'll get the same movement, but in the offset position. So that is what an offset is. In the past, I've used this equation to do lots of things like make a target move back and forth, make searchlights rotate left and right. I've also used it to make booster trails flicker bigger and smaller. And I've also used it to make the emission on lights go from dim and bright. And it's pretty easy to control too, so that's one of my favorite equations. I hope you guys find it useful. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.